20 rocks. It's okay, we're nearly there, my love, look. It's 20 rocks. Good morning, world. Welcome back to the channel. It is day 25 on the Trans Euro Trail, riding 2,000 miles off road through England and Wales to reach the border to Scotland. And we camped last night near the town of Penrith in Cumbria. This is our view in the morning. Nice bush. And this morning we are tired, we are aching, but today we're gonna try and reach the border to Scotland. Yes, we analyzed the map yesterday and it looks like that we can just about make it. Yeah, and today is literally the last good weather day we're gonna get in quite a while. There's a lot of rain coming, a lot of bad weather. So we have to get there today. Mm -hmm. So let me show you guys our plan for today. So we are here and after a massive day yesterday where we managed to finish the entire section of the Lake District National Park, we are gonna be picking up the trail around here and heading north into the final county of our trip, Northumberland, through Kielder Forest and up to the finish line, the border to Scotland at Carter Bar. We have an exciting day ahead, so let's better get out of this tent, yay? <laughs> That's not your last line. Uh, can you roll me out somehow? Better roll Lavi out the tent, let's go. Halfway there. <laughs> we have to say goodbye to our beautiful, trusty Oxford cover. So we had this bike cover with us on the round the world trip. Literally every day hugging Bumblebee, bringing it to bed. But I mean, look at it now, you know, it's so, it's so broken. I think we can't fix this anymore. We fixed it many times, as you can see here always with like foot tape you know <laughs> but yeah it's time to say goodbye but we did actually cut a little bit out here you can see i just cut the logo out oxford um, for us to keep as a little memory because this cover went around the world one time around the world it's done well but it's time to say goodbye Final chain adjustment and chain spray of the trip. Very loose. That, wow. <laughs> that is a really loose chain. Yeah. Wow. We will check the car for this, shall we? What a beautiful day. For the first time in ages, I'm actually warm. Yeah. It is actually warm and sunny this morning. What a day for our final day on trail. Yeah, beautiful. Whew. It's because we did the dance at the Stone Circle yesterday. Keep the rain away, keep the rain away. Get the sunshine here, get the sunshine here. Ancestors, ancestors. We've got the ancestors looking after us. Okay, chain tension adjusted, chain oiled. We couldn't be more ready to take on the final section of this trail. It's the final section. <laughs> and this campsite was absolutely amazing because it had toilets and the toilets were really clean and it was just 16 pounds a night. Yeah, that is a really reasonable price for a campsite. Yes. Like, I mean, it doesn't get better than that. No. Hello. All right. So we're picking up the trail 
in a place called Alston. Yeah, and we've had a look at the whole last section of this trail all the way to the end. There isn't like a huge amount of green lane, but there is one bit at the end that I'm really excited about. There's like an eight to 10 mile off-road stretch going through Kielder Forest, pretty much right at the very end, just before we get to the border to Scotland. And that's gonna be one of the longest off-road sections that we'll have done on this entire trip. I think that'll be a really nice way for us to finish this trip with a massive, massive off-road forest adventure. I just hope that the trail is not gonna be too difficult and we can actually reach the borders of Scotland this afternoon. Yes, I'm super excited as well how the last day on trail will turn out. And yeah, we can actually make it. We're climbing this crazy massive pass to get over to Alston and my petrol light has been on the whole time and I'm really just wondering if at any point I'm about to just stop. Ah uh, look, Hartside Summit, altitude 1903 feet. <laughs> nice. Okay, let's make it to the petrol station, eh? 5.7 miles. Let's hope that it's just downhill, hey? <laughs> wow, look at this view! Endless! I'm just uh, holding the clutch in. <laughs> just rolling. <laughs> See if I can get enough speed. Can you push me? <laughs> Go on then, a little bit of throttle. Come on then. Come on then. Let's get to Alston. 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 <laughs> Alston. <laughs> Sunny one. Yes! Oh my god, there are a lot of bikers overtaking us. Oh one, my god, here we go. Two, yeah. three, four. <laughs> These are the racers. I'm gonna race them now. Here we go. <laughs> Walker. Oh my yeah. lord. How, how can these guys take these corners like that? I don't know. I don't know how to take any corner, seriously. Oh my god. I'm too scared that I'm just going to slide off the off the road down the yes, mountain. Same here, seriously. But yeah, anyway, last day on trail. And although I'm super excited that we're sort of completing the journey, I can say I miss it already. Hey, we've still got a long way to go today. It's true. <laughs> we've got a long journey ahead, <laughs> including a huge off-road stretch. So. It's gonna be interesting. Look at this lonely house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody was like, I don't really like people, so I'm gonna put my house here. As far away from anybody as you can get. Yes, we made it. Let's see how many liters we had left, eh? We filled up nearly 11 liters out of a possible 12. So we had about half a liter of fuel each. We pushed it quite far with that one. Wow, so we just climbed up and up and up again, straight out of Alston. We've come up to this crazy pass. Just one pass after the next, after the next. It's pretty crazy actually. Yeah. yeah, and this here is pretty much the northern extent of the Pennine Mountains. The same range that we crossed through the Peak District and through the Yorkshire Dales. But I mean, it's still just as impressive up here. Look at this. Yeah, very impressive actually. Absolutely huge hills around. Yeah. And there's an off-road trail section coming off the side and that'll be our first off-road of the day. So I'm excited to get stuck in. I'm excited to get hot because my fingers, they're like frozen at the moment. <laughs> what a way to start our final morning of the trail, hey? Look at this. Yeah, stunning. Oh, I can see it. I can see it. This is it. There it is. The rocky road ahead in our direction north to Scotland. Did that car just splash us? To Scotland. Bloody hell. Don't worry if you're cold, this will warm you up. 
just opening and closing all the gates is going to warm you up. Why does it always have to be uphill? <laughs> Look at this road, guys. Look at this road. Oh, man. I don't know what these people's obsession with rocks are. I don't know. I think this trail is just testing my, my fear, you know, my fear of like bloody rocky uphills. Anyway, time to rock and roll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Full revs, first gear, stand yep. up. <laughs> Full revs, first gear, stand up. Send it! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Here we go. This will get us warm in the morning. Bloody hell. <laughs> Send it! Oh my god! Run to the road, man! We're nearly at the top! No, I need to stop. <gasps> nearly there! I think that's the top just there. Just so many rocks. It's okay, we're nearly there, my love, look. So many rocks. Come on, let's get to the top. <sighs> I put you through all of this. Oh God, thank you for still going strong. Oh God, that was exhausting. Oh, and terrifying again, you know. Oh. <laughs> I hope one day I can be like, oh, that's easy. Oh God, that's crazy, man. Very crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's more like it. Scotland, we're coming! Amazing! Like this is really like, it's really enjoyable and nice. I just really don't like rocky uphills. Oh wow, there's like a reservoir down there. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, be careful! <laughs> be careful yes. hell. <laughs> nice! That's more like it! Whoa, coming over the reservoir, look at this! Yeah. Oh, it's a nice old dam! Wow! What an area here! It's called Burn Hope Reservoir, in case you'd like to visit. Oh yes! Welcome to Northumberland! England's border country and our final county of the trip. There we go, customary picture with the sign. Wait for Lavi to do the biggest turnaround in history. <laughs> and we are officially entering the final county of the trip, coming into Northumberland. And the name Northumberland means land north of the River Humber. So North Humber land. Makes sense, doesn't it? Does. <laughs> <laughs> and this county is the most remote county of England. Back in Roman times, this was really like the 
end of the world here. This was the edge of the Roman Empire. And I talk about the Roman Empire because we have a really, really awesome point of interest coming up, which is the literal end of the Roman Empire, Hadrian's Wall, basically England's answer to the Great Wall of China. And I've never been there, so I'm really excited to see it. Oh, there's nine of you. Yeah, it's a bit of a bottleneck, isn't it? Okay. All right, we'll come to the sides. Oh, look at these guys. Hello. <laughs> they look really happy. Yeah. yeah. Good job. Oh, you having a good time? Yeah. How about you? It's good? Good fun? Yeah, yeah you got the right bike for it. It looks good. Enjoy. <laughs> I love that there's just a pheasant on the road in front. Look there. He must have been scared to death. He's had nine bikes passing him and now two more. Come on, buddy. Get off the trail. Hey, to the side. There he goes. Oh, no, there is one more. Shall I try to move away or? <laughs> All right, hopefully you got just enough space. Just enough, eh? Watch out for your wing mirror, my love. That's it. Yeah. Right. Yeah, good. Yeah, just about making it past. It's all good fun, eh? I mean, I can see some walls around here, but I'm not sure if any of them are Hadrian's Wall. They just, they just look like farming, like farm walls. Got asked down here at the coffee shop or whatever it is. Yeah, let's just park here. Go and find out where this bloody wall is. <laughs> okay, so the lady in the visitor center, she gave me a map of where to find Hadrian's Wall. So from here, we have a small walk to do, about 10 minutes. Then she said there's a really nice section of the wall to look at. So we're just gonna have a bite to eat, have a sandwich, and then we're gonna go see Hadrian's Wall. Bye, Ewan and Charlie. Let's go see an old wall. Oh no, I think it's up there. It's like we're on the last day of the trip trying to reach the border to Scotland and we're currently just like walking up a hill to go and see an old wall. Remind me the next time to wait where the bikes are. <gasps> Sweetheart, this is Hadrian's Wall. This is an important part of British history. I'll tell you guys more about that in a minute. Getting warm now, hey? There it is, Hadrian's Wall. The Hadrian's Wall was built in AD 122, ordered to be built by the Emperor Hadrian, and this marks the most northerly extent of the Roman Empire in Britain. The wall runs for 73 miles from Wall's End to Bonus on Solway, and is visited by 100,000 people every year. And like the Great Wall of China, this wall was built to keep others out the people from the north. And it's amazing that after nearly 2,000 years, it's still standing, or some of it is still standing today. And now, look, and now I get to lie on it. Don't destroy it, please. Yeah. It was up for a very long time. Get out of here, barbarians! Get back to Scotland! Anyway, we've still got a trail to finish, so we've got to go that way to Scotland. So there we go. A little bit of British history at the edge of the Roman Empire. Yeah, very cool. 
very very nice place to visit yeah and it really feels like you're kind of at the end of the world here as well doesn't it yeah completely i can really understand how the romans would have felt up here in the middle of nowhere building a wall yeah <laughs> i mean <laughs> must have felt very very random it looks like a land for barbarians doesn't it i mean it just looks massive and open and wild yeah so now we're going to be continuing our way north to the final section of our trail which is the kielder forest and onwards to the scottish border it's so cool because as we're riding along this road we keep seeing little bits of hadrian's wall like that bit there so this road is basically running along the wall and the hadrian's wall is the largest roman archaeological site in britain and the most famous archaeological site in britain so it's really cool that we can ride along its length and experience a little bit of this special part of ancient history another part of the wall just next to the road you can see it running along that bit there cool awesome so we have arrived in the town of bellingham and we're just doing our last fuel up before the last section <laughs> there we go all fueled up but man time is getting on today it is already quarter to five and we still have a long off-road section of trail to go probably the longest off-road section of trail that we'll have the entire trip so we better hope that road is good <laughs> <laughs> but we said this morning we are gonna make it to this border today we are gonna finish this trail let's try and smash it let's send it let's send them <laughs> send it <laughs> Woo! So it is 20 past five and we've finally arrived at the beginning of this forest drive, which is called Forest Drive, I think. And there's actually an electronic toll booth to go through. So you have to pay to actually do this drive. Oh, there's your ticket. thank you. So apparently it's 12 miles in the end. Mm -hmm. Here on the sign, it says, rough surface road suitable for four by four vehicles so hopefully that'll be okay for our one by ones <laughs> is that what you call a bike a one one by one it just has one wheel drive doesn't it anyway tickets paid it's time to take on this last stretch Meow. <laughs> oh here comes the dirt road oh it's good quality as well yes very good quality Look at that, what are we in third gear, fourth gear even maybe? <laughs> I Woo! think I'm still just in second gear. This forest, the Kielder Forest, is actually the largest man-made forest in England. The park covers an area of 250 square miles, of which 75% of that is planted with forest. And as I said, it is a man-made forest here, which is quite hard to believe. But prior to the 1920s, this area was just open moorland so it's taken them a hundred years but now they've got a pretty impressive thing going on here yeah totally very very impressive and it's actually become a really important refuge for some of britain's rarest animals the kielder forest is actually home to 50 percent of the red squirrel population of england it's one of their last remaining strongholds and in 2009 a pair of osprey successfully nested here in the forest now osprey numbers went dramatically low in the 1960s in 1967 there were only two breeding pairs left in the uk but now they estimate that there are as many as 300 breeding pairs across Britain, including here in the Kielder Forest. And this environment is so wild and remote that it's even being considered for the reintroduction of the Eurasian lynx, which has been extinct in the UK for 1300 years. 
I mean, how amazing would that be, hey? If you've got osprey flying overhead, you've got red squirrels in the trees and lynxes crawling between. So anyway, we've got a lot of forest to ride through and a beautiful road to do it on. So let's enjoy our final off-road ride of the trip. I think that is it. We have made it through Forest Drive. We survived our last dirt road on the TED UK. Woo! Yes, <laughs> and it was actually one of the best condition dirt roads that we had of the whole trip. Yes! So thank you, TED, for blessing us with a beautiful end to this trail. Oh, totally. I'm so thankful for that. What a way to finish, hey? Yeah. A 12-mile stretch through the wilderness of Northumberland. Totally. Right, here we are, back at the A68. So now I think we literally have just five miles down this road, and then we're at the Scottish border. Oh, uh, yeah? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Let's do it! Are you ready to finish this trail? Totally. Let's do it! Woohoo! Woohoo! Scottish border, viewpoint one mile! That's us! <laughs> That's us! Ah. <laughs> yes, I can finally see the finishing point of the trail on my map. The end of the red line north. Wow! Oh my god, what an adventure, hey? Yeah, 25 days of riding after we left over. Of riding of total madness! <laughs> 25 days of utter chaos and wow. falling off four times that you can count. <laughs> Mostly you. I learned so much on this trip. Wow. Yeah, you went from being a complete novice to an off-road pro. Not really, but at least I learned a little bit. It was still really, really, really cool just to have the chance to do such a crazy trip, you know? Apparently, the hardest trans -Euro trail of all the trans -Euro trails, and we have done it. Here we go. There it is. Oh. <laughs> There's the sign. Welcome to Scotland. Oh, wow. Yes. yes. <laughs> cool. There we go. Wow. That's it. That is it. There is the flag to Scotland right there. And here is a big old rock that says on one side of it, Scotland. And on the other, England. We made it! We Happy made alive. it! Happy and alive! Happy and alive! <laughs> wow. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. And look as well, like how dark it looks over there. Oh my God, it looks like that the rain is coming. We were so lucky today. No rain, nice trails, you know. Just amazing. I think the rain has been chasing us for the past few days, every day, but we've kept ahead of it and we got here. I mean, I still actually have wet feet because my boots are completely soaked. Yes, my one too. But still. Okay, let's go have a look over there. There it is. That's Scotland. That's Scotland. That is Scotland, just there. Wow. What a beautiful view to finish the trip. So thank you to whoever created the Trans Euro Trail UK. You created one of the most challenging, but also spectacular trails. It's been an absolutely incredible experience. Yeah, totally. 25 days, 2,000 miles off-road, all the way from Dover 
through England and Wales, and we have reached the borders of Scotland. <laughs> and thank you to all of our lovely followers who have watched us all the way along on our YouTube channel, who has subscribed and liked and commented. Mwah. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you guys. We really couldn't have done it without your support. And we really appreciate everyone who's been watching the series. And let's see what's next, eh? <laughs> oh yes, this won't be the last adventure on this channel. We've already got new adventures in the pipeline. So stay tuned for those, everyone. Yes, and that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family. Comment below and we will see you next time. Welcome to Scotland! It started raining like crazy, but we have a massive rainbow there.